What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be showing you my new studio. Now ever since I feel like I started YouTube I've had like three studios on here but you know whenever a good opportunity and also a bigger studio comes up sometimes you just gotta take it especially in this industry. If you guys have been watching my videos for quite some time you guys would have saw back in um, the beginning of the year, almost January, I had actually moved to a whole new salon where it's like studios, kind of like my last one, but this salon has bigger studios and more available for like um, a cheaper rent for more space, so I had to take up on that offer and I actually love it here. Now it's a little bit more different, some people miss that I had my sink in my studio, but I kind of don't because... I get like a bigger studio and more room for especially for my clients but if you guys did see back in january i had moved into a bigger studio from my previous one before that and i loved it but another opportunity came up to where i'm still in the same salon but a bigger studio had opened up and i knew right away that i had to take it because one, I had always wanted a bigger one and I wanted more room for my clients to be able to sit down. Now, I've only been in this studio for maybe about a month and a half, not too very long, and I'm super excited to share with you guys because I think this one is a little bit more homey. Um, I still actually have to do some stuff in here and reorganize it and kind of change it up, like take out that dryer that I don't really ever use. Now, I know with me, I always like to evolve and I like to grow every single year. And so when the opportunity came up, I just knew I had to grab it and hopefully pray that I was gonna be able to afford it. Now, it wasn't too much more expensive um, than my last rent that I was in my other studio. And if you guys, also a booth rent or a studio rent you guys know and how that could be um, obviously the bigger the studio the more money you're gonna have to pay also if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Ashley I am a professional hairstylist and if you are new please don't forget to like comment on this video tell me guys what you guys think and what you want to see and also subscribe to my channel we're trying to hit 100k I know we can do it you guys have blessed me with so much already but I know that we could hit 100 so hit that subscribe button Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my studio with you. So looking at it from this angle, so um, the door is right here and then this is how big it pretty much is. So over here I have obviously my chair and if you guys are interested about these or intrigued, um, these actually belong to the salon owner and from what she told me she had got these at Home Goods. They were a set and they were actually yellow but she painted them a pretty chalky gray and I think it looks beautiful and she also has these glass covers over it just in case any color gets on. Um, it doesn't ruin it. So walking into my studio, I'm going to share with you guys this little area. So over here I have this cute little boho shelf that I got at Home Goods as well. This my mom got for me and I like it because of the colors. It says this is where the fun stuff happens. I'm not sure where she got this. It was just a little gift. And on this on the bottom I have some Olaplex number threes for sale. Over here there is this dryer. I personally don't ever use a dryer anymore just because I feel like with the new lighteners I leave my clients sitting for a long time, 45 minutes to an hour, and they lift. I feel like I really don't ever have to use heat. Now this dryer I've never used and it comes out all the way to over here and you could put it on top of your client or move. I think even that moves as well, but I haven't moved it in a long time. I've actually never even used it since I've been in here. I want to take it out. I just actually got to find somebody to do that for me because it's super heavy and the bolts um, I obviously don't have anything to take that off with so hopefully I can get my boyfriend to take that out and over here in this corner I have those that I still have not hung up yet if you saw my last video I actually had that beautiful mandala flower hanging I still want to hang that and I need to hang my license as well um, my goal is to when I get rid of this to put that right there and put um, the mandala flower hanging and also get a new photo frame for my license but over here in this little corner I got a key rig I need to stock up again on some cups I also have some of my clients their um, business cards some of them have boutiques and I also have some stickers here for anybody that purchases um, any type of product from me they could always get some stickers I need to get some more 
I also am a big fan of a natural oil, so I have some essential oils. Also, this is one of my favorite things ever. So for those of you guys that don't know, I went to school at Aveda, and this is the Shocker 5. It's actually a perfume mist. It's a balancing spray. Um, every time I spray this, I get a lot of compliments about my studio smelling good and very relaxing. So I always love to spray that right before they come. I also always keep waters on deck and some tea and coffee um, packets just in case any clients want that. Okay, and then right next to it I have my trash can along with my hamper where I throw all my dirty towels in. This hamper I thought was super cute. I got it at Target and I believe it was only 20 bucks. Into this denier, like I said, the owner had some things already in here that I decided to keep that way I save money. And I kind of just worked along with the theme in here. But she had this little table and I like it because sometimes clients put their purses or whatever they have um, on top of that and then I just throw my laundry basket in there my goal is when i move everything around in this little corner i'm also going to get a little cute seating area for when clients do have guests or they bring their kids they could sit and relax right here so now getting to this side i actually bought these cute frames at target i can't remember how much these were but i kind of wanted to do somewhat of a boho theme in here somewhat relaxing um, to where clients come in it's not so much neutral and relaxing I love the color scheme so this I also got at Target as well and I just put yay you're here gorgeous it comes with tons of letters and also a numbers as well now this pretty vase I got at home goods along with the pompous grass I love the way that looks so I put that in the corner now over here I also have where I sell my products stock up. I'm usually pretty stocked up but I feel like a lot of things have been on back order or just out of stock. I usually have tons of Olaplex. I love the Design Me Puff Me along with my Kevin Murphy and my Purology. For those of you guys that don't know I'm huge fans of all of this. I try my best to always keep different products on stock for always different people. You guys know Kevin Murphy, it's an expensive um, brand, but you know what, I love a lot of their stuff. And for those people that feel like they don't want to pay that much, I also have the Design Puff Me that works just like the bedroom hair. So I always try to keep one of the lower end and one of the higher end just in case people want to try it. So right here on this little chest, I have here my Himalayan salt lamp. I actually have another one over there as well, but that one don't turn on. It's actually burnt out, but I just put it there just for a style. Um, I love Himalayan salt lamps. I think they're super relaxing. And that is obviously just sitting on this cute little chest. Like I said, I got these from Home Goods. I'm not sure on how long ago, but she refurnished them and painted them, and I think they look great. You can't tell that there's actually no hints of yellow. She did a great job. And so obviously, I have my chair. I'm hopefully to get a new one. I want one of like the cute square ones, something brand new. She said that I could actually put that in there, and she'll take that one away. Like I said, she's got this really nice glass on there just in case I get any color. It doesn't stain the actual wood. Now in these drawers up on top all of my foil. I love my foil from Costco. I love from our foil I stock up on all my gloves I have some Vaseline there to put around the client's hairline so it doesn't get their skin dirty Well, you know, I always have to have band-aids on stock But I always love to keep all my foils and gloves in this one and then on the second one I keep tons of um, towels and stock as well so now for this side, like I said, I just have my barber side there and then over here, I just have some cute little decorations. I got that lamp actually at Hobby Lobby. They had a sale on all their lamps and I just, I really liked it. I thought it was super cute. Now I have a couple of plants back there. I feel like I always have to have some greenery. I also got it at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I had it in my very first studio, but I kept it and I just Put it right there along with another Himalayan salt lamp. Now these little aloe veras I got at Sprouts. I went one day grocery shopping and I saw them and I thought they were super cute. So had to get them as well. Now over here is where I have kind of like my little trolley I guess I could say. I never really um, move it. I just place it in the corner and I have my blow dryer along with my curling irons and my straightener usually. Along with extra clips and um, shears but... Here is where I keep all of my product that I use. So I have my hairspray, some texturizing sprays. Um, for those of you guys that never have used Trust, I highly recommend Trust Professional. They have amazing products. They all smell so good. I'm trying to see if that, oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys, but 
All right, so over here is this huge mirror. So actually, the person that was in here before was a really good friend of mine, and he's still at the salon. He just moved into a bigger one as well. So I actually took his studio, and I bought this off of him because I loved the way it looked, and I feel like it just made the studio look a little bit more bigger. I believe he got this at Hobby Lobby. Super expensive, probably $450, but bought it off of him for half off because he had used it in his previous studio and he's just had it for a long time and I just felt like when it took it off it just made it look a little bit awkward in here so I had to keep that and buy it off of him. Over here I just have a little um, hook area where people can hang their jackets or their purses just depending on if they want to there. Um, right above it if you don't know but now you do um horses are one of my favorite animals along with lions and my mom bought me this really pretty horseshoe that has this gorgeous little cross on it so i had to hang it up here in my studio and usually right here i'm always moving it around i have my little trolley that i usually keep my shears on along with some combs a brush and obviously clips um, also an IVAC, if you don't have one and you're a hairstylist, highly recommend to get one. They're amazing. Here is a little color area. Here I have some greenery up there as well. And in here is where I keep all of my color and down there I keep some of the developers. So I got a big Olaplex number two. I feel like you always got to have this on deck. I have some brushes there. I also have a little fan in here because sometimes I feel like it does get pretty hot. Getting a glass top for this that way I don't ruin it too much because I already have some little stains. I usually put like a little towel here and this is where I mix. I also have some Olaplex for in my mixer. And then when you open this up, this is where I keep all my colors. I actually gotta go to state, some stuff is missing, but keep all my colors here, my matrix, also my bleach, I kinda put in that corner, and then I have all of my shades EQ. And like I said, if you guys haven't tried Trust, you guys have got to try it. They have such amazing products. But that's where I keep the color. And down here is where I keep a lot of like the developers. So I have the Blonde Me, JDQ Gloss, I have pretty much all the developers for the colors that I have. And then just down here I have extra bleach along with some shampoos and some cleaning products. But yeah guys, this is the new studio. <laughs> um, two studios in one year, but like I said, when this studio actually opened up, I just had to take that opportunity to be able to take it and get something that I've always wanted. Okay, so I wanted to show you this little area. This is where our sinks are, and actually, I know a lot of people say that they miss my sink being in my studio, but I actually like it out of my studio just because it gives me a lot more room in my studio and just makes it feel a little bit more roomy. Now, these are our sinks. They're super nice. She also has trash cans near us. Now, the reason why I'm doing a voice a voice over is because there was some music playing in the background and I didn't want to get demonetized. So, that way I just thought I would do a voice over and share with you guys. Guys, so I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. I hope that you enjoyed my new studio. I know that I do, and I'm excited to create and learn new stuff. I also learned extensions. If you guys haven't seen my um, last video, go check it out because I am now certified in doing habit extensions. Um, I, I probably won't record any of that because habit is super strict and I don't want to get in trouble but I think just putting my own little taste into it eventually within time um I could probably show you guys some new techniques that I probably learned throughout the way so I'm excited for that little journey to share with you guys on me learning extensions and doing them on my clients but I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog like I said please don't forget to like comment this video and also subscribe to my channel I would greatly appreciate it so much but I will be back and I will see you guys in my next video.